<laughs> Slavery. The first African slaves arrived in 1619. These Africans had been taken from their homes, chained together on ships, and taken to colonize cities to be auctioned off. In 1607, about 200,000 slaves lived in the southern colonies. By the mid-1700s, slavery was legal in all 13 colonies. Slave owners were free to beat, whip, and insult slaves. The slaves had little hope of escape, and the law did not protect them. To avoid work, the slaves worked slowly, pretending to be sick, and broke rules. <laughs> Such actions were dangerous. They per preserved their culture by telling African stories and singing African songs. <coughs> it's the first one, the really bright yellow one. Okay. Religion. Religion was the key to founding a, a number of, of the colonies. Most people moved to the colonies so they could freely practice their religion. made bread and cake from corn. Their main meal was stew with meat and vegetables that they would cook that, that they would cook for days. All colonists ate very little fruit. Indians taught them how to farm. Okay. <laughs> farming. There are two different kinds of farmers. First there are small farmers who don't even own the land they farm on. There are, then there are big farmers who have really big plantations. Tobacco, um, tobacco rice, and indigo were the main crops to sold for money. The production of these crops needed lots of workers, so that's where the most slaves uh, were. <coughs> Life in the cities. By 1760, Philadelphia had a population of 26 million, which made it larger than many cities in England. In the market, people would sell fish, produce, and other goods. Soon the market became the center of exchanging things. During 1704, the first newspaper came out in Boston. Wow. Josh, so check. The southern colony was made of Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, Maryland, and Georgia. Please, 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 please. Okay, so Virginia, North Carolina. South Carolina. It's on the floor. Maryland. And Georgia. The southern colonies had their own government. The colonists had meetings when they wanted to discuss issues, laws, or interests. Every law had to be approved by the governor, council, and advisory. People lived farther away from each other. So many, decis so many decisions were made at the county hall. Maryland's first governor was Leon Leonard Calvert, who was George Calvert's son. Southern colonies, most people earn their money by selling tobacco, indigo, white wheat, <coughs> corn, and rice. Tobacco and indigo were the main cross, cross, cross crops in the southern colonies. Conflict among people. There was a lot of conflict among the colonists. First of all, colonists tore down their villages and took their hunting grounds. They killed any Indian that fought back but they traded rifles and beaver skins.